the graph compares the amount of leisure time enjoyed by people of different employment levels. In the given column graph, no data has been provided for the part-time employed and house-staying men. Unemployed and retired men, women had approximately 85 and 83 hours of spare time respectively. They are followed by housewives which have 50 hours of leisure time. On the other hand, full-time employed men and women have comparatively less leisure time. This particular bar graph shows how much money is spent on transportation for people in different household income groups. It appears that as household income increases, the total expenditures on transportation also increase. This makes sense, because the more money people have, the more they have available to spend. The bar chart shows the urbanization percentage of the world in 1950 and compares this with the percentage in 2007 and the projected percentage for 2030. The highest urbanization between 1950-2007 has happened in Africa and Asia where urbanization rate has doubled. It is also clear from the graph that, urbanization in Latin America is projected to be higher than Europe in 2030, in spite of being lower in 1950. To conclude, we can say by 2030, the proportion of the world's population residing in cities is expected to double.
the graph shows changes in the price of fresh fruits and vegetables, sugar and sweets, and carbonated drinks over a 30-year period. The graph also shows the general trend in the consumer price index during this time. The consumer price index and prices of sugar showed steady increase from 1979 to 2009 whereas increase in price of carbonated drinks is very slow. In contrast, price of fresh fruits and vegetables, despite periodic fluctuations, rose sharply. The graph compares the rate of smoking between men and women in Summerland between the years 1960 and 2000. Since 1960, the rate of smoking in men is gradually decreasing. It had dropped to 250 by 2000. In contrast, the rate of smoking in women in 1960 was very low at only 80 in every 1000. It increased till 1975 but since then it has been declining. It had dropped to 200 by 2000. In conclusion, the rate of smoking in men dropped throughout the whole period but it was always at a higher level than the female. The graph shows population trends in Europe and Asia as a percentage of world population between 1750 and 2000. Asia had a much bigger percentage of the world population during this period than Europe. Asia's proportion dropped from 65 to 55 percent between 1750 and 1950 but reached 60 percent in 2000. Europe's population was fairly stable from 1750 to 1850 at just over 20 percent of world population. Then it rose slightly in 1900 before falling by more than half to just over 10% in two.